Shut the fuck up. I hate you, you stupid arsehole. You never shut up. You're always ruining my videos, man. Talking when you don't need to be. There. Scum. Anyway. <sighs> that was better. We don't need to go in Harrenborough's safe anyway. I have to stuck on the net for the code for that. Oh, I really should have asked them actually. <laughs> Whoops. So Never mind. Star. I think it begins with a nine. If that helps. Um, what have we got here? Captain Galloway. It's undoubtedly not worth time. I hesitate. Uh -huh. Oh no, I'll leave that on there. Give me a sec. Dishonored. I do like how they give the option for non-lethal takedown and all the guys, and they get a trophy for doing it as well. And it is nice. Hey, wait. I know it begins with a 9. That's how I got that right. It should be 935. Um, yeah, the confession is basically your non-lethal way it's this confession of he he's the one who uh, he's the one who brought the rat plague into the city to begin with and then it got out of control mm. apparently he didn't realize that rats mo um, multiply and literally shag anything that moves so yeah his that's stupid that, that's how ridiculously stupid Hiram Burroughs is it's like oh what rats rats multiply Moron. Anyway, we're going in here. Um, I think I've ruined the patrol pattern, which doesn't help me. So, yeah, I want this. That's what I want. That's the only reason they came here to get that picture. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like there being no guards, it's making me nervous. It does make me feel much safer when I turn all the walls of light to my advantage. Yeah, I think I didn't really have a look at this um, place on my other playthrough because it doesn't serve any purpose for you to go all the way out your way to. Um, what the hell? Is everyone dead? Huh. Yeah, I, di I didn't go out my way only because um, it. When I mean, the chance of getting caught is is ridiculously high because of the dogs, and you know, you, you just get through the the low profile, and you can run around and look around um, on this playthrough. Emily, my daughter. Uh, I know that one day you'll be grown up. And I wonder what you'll remember of these years. Will you recall your time as a child with fondness? Or were there too many caretakers, formal dinners and lessons about boring old history? Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope the season of rats and plague will be nothing more than a passing shadow on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisor. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. Your yeah, heart dies. Full of responsibility and peril. It was not your choice to be the daughter of an empress. But I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling stories. And only share your power with those you truly trust. Man, I do like that. It's a shame that she died so early in the game. But she would have been an interesting character to interact with. Instead, we get a daughter instead. I prefer she didn't die, yet there was more of a conspiracy and she was alive and Emily got kidnapped and something, something weird like that. I think I prefer it better than, oh, she dead. This kind of sucks. Yeah, it dies. 
before it becomes fractious. <sighs> yeah, good luck with those rats. Meh, 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 meh. Looks like someone left me some money here. What the? I don't want to really stupid. Pick up that gold. Um, Influences of the outsider. Oh my god, I am not reading that. It's too long. I mean, if you want to, if you're that bothered and you want to read everything, God's sake, play the game yourself. Because there's loads of lore. I mean, I've read them all before, quite a while ago, and it does serve purpose in the story, but. You know, like I said, I've, I've read them all. I know the story. I'm playing this just to show you how awesome. Sound it is. Yeah, good luck smashing them without anyone notices in you. <laughs> you must have been killed, unless you killed everyone like I ever read it, which I'm disappointed. I really was expecting it to be people here. I didn't see the dogs, so I'm really concerned of where the hell the dogs went. Huh. And again, they must have all come around the corner and just run into that wall of light. Huh. Morons. Um, I don't think there's much loot on this level. I think most of it was outside. Bar a few. Bar a few bits and bobs. Um, yeah, this is a safer room. Uh, we're going to kill the torturer soon. Um, okay. Yeah, I apologize for using this vision. But I want to collect everything and... I can't for the life of me see where these fucking coins are. Well, to say I was using a lot of mana, um, I've picked up, I've refilled all over again, so that's cool. Um, I'll try and keep it off, but as you can see, it doesn't highlight the best when you're looking yeah, for stuff. Nice. Especially not with this. I mean. Let's see, look, there's some loot down there. Um, where else are we? There's normally guards here. Yeah, they must have all run to me. Huh. Oh no. There's a conversation there. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, from the look yeah, it, it looked like Oh no, it was underneath me. I thought there was money underneath that bed then. Some money there. Awesome. Um, what else we got? I'll tell you what, it would be eerie for the people when they, when they change shifts and there's no bodies or no people around. Whereas my rats have eaten them all. Man, that would be weird. I don't like going to work and all your work colleagues just disappeared. No trace. Just some suspicious mud, uh, blood smears on the walls. And this train needs to go to the torture. I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no, why do I have to take it? He's harmless, <laughs> unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange, always working on something he keeps secret. And he has that brute of a dog. Trust me, he's gentle as a lamb. Now, take him his food. Oh, It wouldn't be so bad if you could check how much loot was in the level in game without needing to complete the level first and then going, ah, oh, missed two gold. Bollocks. 
I don't know. Uh, no, put that away. Yeah, I think that's it. Nice. Oh no. This is uh, an apple. I think that's everything. But I can see this is the master key, I think. Oh no, the kitchen key. Um. Oh, what's with that? What's that? An area map. We don't need that. I think the only place left to explore. Oh, that's the front door. Oh, of course. Moron. Yeah, the only place left to, left to explore is um, up here, where we're going to kill Hiram Burrows, and then the torturers area. Oh, hello. A money pooch there. Nice. Um, yeah, the first time I played this game, I came through the sewers, like I did. And I uh, came this way, snuck around here, and came into the kitchen. And it's a really bad way to go inside. I mean, you got people walking up and down here, that woman taking their shit to the torturer. And then you got the guy wandering around, and then you come up here. And you climb up this roof here. And then you come in this way, and then you got guards patrolling up and down here. There's a servant in here as well. Yeah, it's not the best way to come in here, I must admit. There's always easier ways. And the easiest way is, well, for me, personally, I always go the way I went on my other playthrough. Which was through, so um, through the roof at the top. I really like beating up that body. Yeah, I don't think he gets eaten by rats either. That's right. He's not noticed. Idiot. Oh no, we can! Yeah. I think you, can, you have a special animation, I think, when you kill him, but, you know, other than that, who cares? Oh, dearie. Oh, dearie, dearie, down in the cellar, so dreary. Why won't you come out to see me? When you were here, we made them scream, didn't we? Come back to visit me, and I'll give you another present carved and shiny. You want much of a way of a proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch you work. Come back and I'll tell you stories. Well, I think, I think it hints that he's Granny Rag's son. I think, I'm sure he wasn't affected by rats on the other game. I always thought he was immune to one, personally, I mean... Yeah, yeah, this is the only conversation in the whole of my other playthrough that I had to skip. Just because I wanted to get the get the ruin and not be caught by that monster. So let's listen to it now. Yay! Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. What an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things, make it all right again and crown a new Empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. I can love that guy. I think we can go and um, guess what would be all suddenly more howling into the void. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's nice. proven that the amount of people we've killed. I mean, this city's gone to shit already and Corvo killing everyone doesn't help. So yeah, they're all going to be sent howling into the void. I do love the outsider. He's voiced perfectly and he's just such a mysterious character. Yeah, it doesn't explain much about him. When Harvey Smith, the co-creator, I think he's the co-creative director, or something like that. Yeah, he was tweeting a lot about the Outsiders' history. I was reading about it a couple of, um, a couple of weeks ago. Very interesting about who he was before he was the Outsider, because he used to be human. Yeah, you should all look at that. Search for his Twitter page. Get on that shit. Yeah, I think this is the last place we got. It's just up here. I didn't go up this way either last time just because it was pointless. 